Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you a review of Gorilla Dream, which is something I picked up off of the Gorilla Mind website. If you guys aren't familiar with the YouTube channel, moreplatesmoredates.com, um, or just not familiar with the fitness side of YouTube, I, I mean, I don't blame you. Uh, that side of YouTube can get kind of weird. But I really like Derek, he's a cool guy. Um, so because of his videos, I was introduced to some of his products. And yeah, I, I got the, the pre-workout formula. I've been using it for the past couple months or so. And then I just went around on his website, tried to take a look at what other products are on there, and I found Gorilla Dream. And for those of you guys who are kind of like me and it's really hard for you to fall asleep at night, Maybe this will be interesting to you, but I'm going to test it out for about a week. Supposedly, and just this is based off their website, and we can take a look here. So based off their website, they have pretty positive reviews, but I kind of wanted to try it out for myself, just because, like a lot of other people, I use melatonin to fall asleep. I use around one milligram to get myself in a pretty relaxed state before I can fall asleep, because falling asleep for me is sort of a commodity, it's something that's very hard for me to do. I'm a very light sleeper too. I wake up to the slightest sound sometimes. Loser. What? And I wake up probably at least three times every night. So it's just, I'm usually up and I'm pretty restless and I feel pretty exhausted by the time it's like eight in the morning. Um, and I need to hop up on caffeine usually to just keep myself energized throughout the day. And I'm sure many of you guys share the same kind of feeling and it sucks. You feel lethargic, you don't feel motivated. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully uh, this will change things because I get those effects with melatonin. It does help me fall asleep um, and everyone says maybe you should boost up your milligrams but really that just makes me feel more drowsy in the morning so it's not really that so I'm hoping that this will be a nice uh, alternative to melatonin. I'm very interested in it especially for its price tag. I get melatonin for a sixth of this price so for $29 which is listed on its website right now and as you can see on the website yeah $29 for 120 capsules seems a little bit steep for me um which is why i wanted to test it out i want to see if it does live up to the 21 reviews that are currently up there mostly all positive so from a week from now on wednesday i'm going to give you guys my results tell you guys what were the effects of using Gorilla Dream, how it affected my sleep and how it affected my mood the next day, and also see if it really does line up with the description that they have on the website, which I'm gonna go ahead and read now. Um, but if you guys don't want me to read the description or anything like that, you guys can go ahead and skip through this. I'll provide timestamps throughout the video so you don't have to listen to me just read what's on the website because you guys have eyes and hopefully you guys can read. So yeah, so I'm uh, gonna go ahead and do that. So Gorilla Dream features a post potent blend of ingredients that whisk you into a deep state of sleep, an effective agent that promotes incredibly lucid dreams, as well as a powerful recovery blend that supports the minimization of stress and the maximization of mind and body recuperation. I said recuperation word, sorry. Uh, there is no substitute for a great night's sleep damn straight. Poor sleep quality or lack of sleep can severely hinder your mental sharpness indeed and have a majorly negative impact on your overall quality of life brain fog yes fatigue yeah poor memory oh god yeah uh great difficulty focusing absolutely low energy levels plummeted motivation i mean it's like it's reading my diary. These are just some of the horrible negative ramifications a poor night's sleep can have on someone. Uh, fall asleep faster, sleep better, experience more vivid dreams, and wake up completely refreshed. Gorilla Dream delivers. So that is their claims. That is what they say that this Gorilla Dream does. And I hope it lives up to those expectations. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'll see you in about a week's time and give you my full honest review then. Bye. Okay, not bye, I mean like, I'll see you in literally like a second, so. Okay, bye. Hey guys, welcome back to a week later from taking Gorilla Dream and testing it out for a week. So I took the recommended amount that was based off of what the container said, which is around four capsules. And for those of you guys who don't really like swallowing pills, well, this was a tough pill to swallow. Uh, I know, I know. I, I had to say it, I had to say it, I, I can't, I can't resist those opportunities. Yeah, I took the Gorilla Dream 
by the recommended dosage, which in comparison to what I'm usually taking for the Nature's Bounty, one milligram of melatonin, it's just one tiny little capsule, like one that you can barely notice going down your throat. Take that sentence as you will. Now, like I said, the four capsules is a lot to swallow, especially if you take other supplements throughout the day. It can seem a little bit, I don't know, tedious to take four. I don't know the science behind why it has to be four different capsules. I'm sure there's a very good reason, but I just feel that if you need to take more than one capsule of a recommended serving size, then I don't know, it shouldn't be four. I feel like there's got to be a better way uh, maybe make it two at most but yeah I just felt like if you feel like you are a person that struggles to fall asleep and you take three milligrams of melatonin and even that's not enough I will say that roughly one milligram of melatonin for myself is pretty similar to the drowsiness effect that Gorilla Dream has on you so with the same amount of effectiveness you have to take four times the amount of capsules or dosages and these capsules in themselves they are probably around twice the size of the melatonin that i take so if that kind of bugs you then um yeah this may be not for you let me just be very fair and mention some things prior to getting a little bit deeper into this review so for myself i like to go work out in the late afternoons or even in the evenings so before i do that i usually take a pre-workout uh, by Gorilla Mode actually and it's my preferred <laughs> pre-workout not sponsored I just I just really like this stuff but yeah I tend to take that and it's caffeinated and it gives you kind of an energy boost but because of that and you're taking it late at night it can inhibit your sleep schedule and because of that you should be very wary that my personal experience with taking Gorilla Dream might not be yours so maybe you're someone who works out early in the morning I think the Gorilla Dream might be a lot more effective for you in order to fall asleep and staying in that sleep and maintaining that REM cycle. So these are all things that could factor into uh, your experiment if you take Gorilla Dream yourself. But this is based on my experience. So uh, taking Gorilla Dream at roughly around four hours after a workout or four hours after taking uh, my Gorilla Mode pre-workout usually feels like a pretty good window uh, for me to have gotten over the caffeine jitters and to kind of get myself into a pretty tired state especially if i had just done a really good workout usually the good workout and the gorilla dream kind of go together pretty well so i will say the gorilla dream it does work in getting you to fall asleep especially if you take the recommended dosage you might be intimidated by the amount of capsules like i said earlier but i highly recommend you go with the four capsules that are recommended because that is the ideal amount for myself for you to take in order to fall asleep and you know get into that deep REM cycle now for the first three days of taking Gorilla Dream I felt like my body kind of had to adjust to taking this new method of sleep aid uh, in comparison to the one milligram of melatonin I typically take if you're someone who is suffering from insomnia or has a lot of trouble falling asleep like I do then maybe melatonin is really it but I wanted to take Gorilla Dream because of what it said on its website about getting rid of that brain fog and that fatigue and the next day kind of just lethargic feeling that you get after a very heavy night's sleep under melatonin sometimes you can wake up the next day feeling even more tired than you did the day before and i hated that feeling and so i will gladly say now uh, that the gorilla dream actually surpassed my expectations in terms of how i felt the next day with that being said i might as well get into the pros for myself i noticed pretty much within the second day of taking gorilla dream after that transitional period of going from melatonin to the gorilla dream uh, was over i felt that i had more energy the next day and to be honest maybe it is a placebo effect you know what these are they're gazebos they're bullshit it might have been also the fact that I was methodically hoping that I would get a good night's rest and because of that I was a lot more focused on getting a good window for the experiment so that could have also factored into it I mean there's a myriad of things that you could think of that could factor into the Gorilla Dream having a post morning effect I guess is that what you would I don't I don't know I don't know what you call it next morning I just felt a lot better there was a lot less fatigue a lot less brain fog I definitely had more motivation throughout the day to get this, the stuff that I needed to get done done and yeah just overall 
I felt that my performance in the gym also was a little bit better because I had that deep sleep and I definitely, definitely hit that REM cycle that I've been pursuing. It's kind of been the, uh, I don't know, the goal of taking this on and uh, doing this experiment. And I'm really glad that it paid off. However, I will get into the cons because in terms of pros, that's pretty much it. I just kicked my camera on accident. So new angle. If you are someone who struggles with the same problems that I do, where it's just hard for you to feel that motivation the next day, then I think this is it. I think this is what you would need. I mean, there's probably alternatives, but I don't know any at this point. And this is really just me experimenting with different kinds of sleep aid. And this one seemed to work for that. However, will I be buying this again personally? Probably not. And I'll get into that because that has a lot to do with well, obviously the cons of using Gorilla Dream. Now you really have to weigh your options here. Is your sleep that valuable to you that you would be willing to spend $30 a bottle, roughly $30 every month for a bottle of Gorilla Dream just to get a pretty decent good night's rest? Then yes, this is for you and you can click out of the video and you can just tell me to shut up and dislike and whatever. But if you are someone who is penny pinching, if you are someone who just needs to get into bed and fall asleep and you aren't too worried about REM cycle that was never something difficult for you and you don't really have any problem with feeling lethargic the next morning after taking melatonin then I don't know I mean just stick with melatonin in my personal opinion uh, I would say for the price tag five dollars for the same bottle of melatonin that I take where you get 120 capsules, which is roughly, I mean, if you're like me who only needs one milligram, that's 120 days worth, that's six months worth of sleep that you could be getting. I think that compared to the $29 you're spending for four capsules per serving, which equals around 30 days worth of getting good sleep. I mean, it's 96 cents a day versus 10 cents a day. Take that information as you will, but you be the judge. You tell me, is it worth it? In terms of cons, it really comes down to the price tag and what you're willing to pay for it. That's basically what I'm trying to say. The melatonin I buy can last you up to six months versus this lasting you about one sixth of that. And I mean, for me, it's, it's a no brainer. I am going to stick to buying the melatonin that I buy for $5. Maybe if I get a little bit richer and maybe if I start valuing myself and valuing my priorities a little bit more, maybe I'll invest more into myself. But at this time in my life, I will not be buying Gorilla Dream until maybe the price tag drops a little bit or if I get a discount code or something like that. For me right now, at this stage of my life, I think melatonin seems a lot more reasonable. Now as a quick summary to just kind of wrap everything up, it really just does come down to your preference of whether you want to pay $29 versus paying $5 for the melatonin that you can get at a store. I mean, it really is up to you and yeah, it's up to how much money you have. Are you in that tax bracket where you can spend $29 on a sleep aid? Now it might not seem like a lot to some people maybe $29 is nothing if so good for you but for me it's significant enough for me to decide that you know not at this stage of my life uh, but if it is for you I highly recommend it I think it's a really good choice if you are someone who really can't sleep at night and you feel like crap the next morning this is for you this is it um, but if you're someone who is you know broke and just needs to fall asleep you know melatonin is def definitely it's definitely the better choice. I mean, don't even think about it. Just buy the melatonin. It really is that simple. How much are you willing to pay and how bad is it for you to fall asleep? Are you rich but a poor sleeper or are you poor and a rich sleeper? That didn't, that didn't even make a little bit of sense. So overall, it does work. It works, okay, Derek? Good job. It works. It, it freaking works, okay? It's just, it's just too expensive for me, okay? It's for me personally, okay? I, I, I'm just, come on, you know? I, I don't, I'm not made of money. <laughs> okay. I'm happy with that review. Are you, are you guys happy with that review? So yeah, guys, if you have taken Gorilla Dream and you disagree with everything that I say and you're like, $29 is worth it and you're wrong, that's fine. That's fine. I believe you. I, I totally believe you. Uh, really, it does come down to preference, and I hope that this review was helpful for anyone who is trying to decide whether they want to buy Gorilla Dream or not. So, yeah. Uh, that's all I got to say, guys. Good product, Eric. Um, I'll, 
I'll see you later. Bye.